Rafi Media Villa, criticologos.com. Uh, first off, uh, Miss uh, Miss Miss Nguyen, uh, Mr. William, thank you for your time. It's an honor, it's a pleasure to be talking to the two of you. I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, Can I just say it's an honor to see your background and <laughs> and I know that it's not a fake background. It's not a, it's not a Zoom background. That's your real that's your real deal. That's your life. That yeah, is like one of the cool. Look at that. Your collection is sick. This is my setup. This guy do my interview. It's so good. It happens. It happens all the time. I don't. I don't want to take it any more of the time. So let me jump right into talking about Parker a little bit. Uh, like, um, uh, Parker, his role past. Um, you know, uh, being a social worker. What is it about Dalias and Ashley's case that makes it so important to him? In your opinion? Yeah. Well, that's that's a good. I, you know, I guess I'd say that gives him meaning. You know what I mean? Parker's floundering at the top of the piece, at the top of our film. Uh, can't take care of himself. Cares deeply about Ashley. He knows what's going on. He has a sense. He's he's got you know, his antenna in the air. And I think he really, I think he has a real soft spot. I know he does. I'm not saying I think. I know he has a real soft spot for Dahlia, and um, and uh, probably could have a little bit more, but but. You know, we explored a little bit of that, but and I just think he, he really cares about him. And that's that's powerful. It's something that you can play. I can I can I can really play and dig into that, you know, and then juxtapose that with my own father, who's not there. It's interesting that McKelly chose me to go into social work. You know, I like that. I, I think it works really well, along with the thriller aspects of the, of the film and the entertainment of the film. Miss Money, this is a really heartfelt movie, and it's it's sad, but at the same time, it has a, it has a lot of heart. What what was it about? And, and the two of you have done everything. I know, say my book. You know, say you, the two of you have done everything. What was it about Dahlia that that really uh, caught caught your eye of, of the script? Well, I love that this this script um, one is you know it's a blacklist script, so we already know that it's you know a really special script. But um, getting into the character, I just loved. Uh, the idea of playing a, a character who is um, who is so fearful and has so much anxiety and really is living like at the very edge of the cliff um, and and has to suppress all of that so that she can keep up appearances and take care of her daughter, make sure her daughter's safe and that her daughter's not taken away. And I really wanted her to feel, I, wa I wanted it to feel that she, she's been holding her breath for years and that she has to hold her breath through this entire movie. And the thing that I really loved about the script was Shay's character, truly. I, I thought that that was such a complex, interesting character and um, that he comes in with a really complicated past um, and, and actually in a very pure present that he's, he's, he comes in, he's like, I, he, he understands uh, Dahlia's world and he understands that world so much. Um, and he's somebody who just wants um, to help. And I love that, you know, I, I understand that feeling of like, and I think we all do, where you're just trying. So you, you can really only depend on yourself for some things or you get so afraid to depend on anybody else. Cause you're like, I just have to take care of myself. And she's been in that place for so long that she has to take care of her and her daughter that she can't even mm -hmm. recognize when, mm -hmm. when Parker comes in to try to help, she can't even recognize that as a, as something that she can trust or lean on. I mean, look, Olivia had to go, she had to dig deep, deeper than she probably had in a while. And, and, and it's hard to do that, man. It's really tough. You, what I call unzipping. Unzipping and you got in, because she, she Olivia's smart. She's smart, she's off the charts smart, she's strong. You have to go to this place, but you can't fake it. You can't fake that. You can't play at that. You gotta go there. And when you do, you get the results, I think, of the film, you know, it's amazing. One last question through the last act, uh, in the last act, we, we, saw, we saw something between, uh, between Dahlia and Parker. Obviously, we don't play that, but it, it worked it between the two of you, in your opinion, what there's something going on, but there are feelings involved there in, in the last act? I think that there's something throughout the whole movie. I think that we... I think that, you know, we've talked about this before, like, are they just friends? Are they lovers? And, and honestly, we feel like that they went, they're, they're beyond what lovers are. That, that, you know, if the movie was con 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 to continue, I think that they would find themselves in a very um, happy I family. Dolly's crushing on Parker, I think. But. Yeah, obviously, obviously crushing on, on Parker. She's like an eighth grade school girl, walking around, you know. An eighth grade school girl running for her life. <laughs> I'm just um, 
No, but I think that feel is what. Yeah. What I worked off of. You know what I mean? You can't fake that, brother. You, you know what I mean? You, it wasn't on the page, but it's what what Shay and I felt for each other. Then you bring that. And it's honestly something we talked about, which is like, um, no, that's not where we're going to go. But it has been something that we've been asked about a lot, which I think is just, I think people are just picking up on, you know, the chemistry that Shay and I have mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Again, thank yeah. you. Thank you for the two of you for your time. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. It's a pleasure.